Nonprofits serve so many purposes in our community, so we can help them help others by in investing in sort of the nuts and bolts of the building. I am really passionate about the work that we do here because it allows some of the most vulnerable or marginalized women in our community to be seen and have a safe place to be. Well, St. Margaret's House is a low barrier drop-in day center located downtown South Bend for women and children. So we serve women in our community who may be struggling with economic poverty or just need to figure out how to connect to resources in the community. One of the main things that we do is provide immediate need services. There's showers that people can use here, free clothing, toiletries, diapers. The hot meal that we serve every day at noon is the biggest service that we offer. It's kind of the crux and heart of all that we do here. And it's what brings people through our doors, often for the first time, and leads to other services or just the beginning of the relationships that they begin to build here. When we learned about the EASY program, what was wonderful about it is that it provided funding for something that we already wanted to do. EASY stands for the Energy Assistance Solar Savings Initiative. It's a program that supports nonprofits and community organizations to complete energy efficiency and solar projects. It provides a free on-site energy assessment uh, and a matching grant to help nonprofits complete uh, energy efficiency or solar projects. Two chest freezers and a stand-up freezer. When we walked through the St. Margaret's House building, one of the things we noticed was that their food program, uh, which they operate out of the basement, they were operating with about seven residential type freezers and refrigerators for their kitchen. And all of those different older models really put a, uh, a high load on their electrical needs. We used the funding to go towards a walk-in fridge and freezer that we added to our basement. And this was a huge advancement to our food program. It was really hard for us to know prior what was at the bottom of those chest freezers. Now we have this glorious spot where we can organize, store, clearly date and label all of the food that we get in and use it in an appropriate manner. This is a game changer. It's been a godsend, really. It's a real challenge for nonprofits in general to fundraise for unrestricted funds. So to be able to find funds that meet something that you already wanted to do is a huge gift the need is increasing. We're seeing more traffic. So having something where we know we can store more food, we have the capacity for volume, and we are able to meet the needs as they increase and as they grow. And that's a big, big deal. Sustainability isn't just a good thing on the merits, it's also an economic decision that can save you money. Space is expensive in our community, and then access to space, especially on the, on the west side of South Bend, is something that's difficult to find. The Beacon is a uh, shared space community center. We are the former Beacon Bowling Alley that stood prominently on the west side of this community for many years. What we do is provide space and opportunity for nonprofit organizations in our community to provide their programming space um, at low cost or in some cases, no cost. This is where the majority of our uh, athletic partnerships meet. We got the basketball program in here. You have the, the roller derby women in here rolling. There's so many beautiful nonprofits that's in here. For the city to be um, offering these opportunities to nonprofits, I think is a really big deal. That assessment, um, it was invaluable. Um, free of charge for us and we walked every square foot of this building. This is our academic wing, Pro Bono Counseling Project, our kid care room, multi-purpose meeting space. So when I walked through the building with Jeff, he really was concerned about the HVAC. He knew the mechanical units were old. He knew some of them were held together with string. So to get a matching grant from the city to be able to possibly uh, get a new HVAC system was something very important for us. Solar was a secondary thing for us because I didn't think solar would be something that we could probably do. When we went up on the roof though, that's when we discovered, oh, this roof would be great for solar panels. It's a great big open space. The roof is new. The cost was the, was the biggest barrier because I had heard uh, solar was expensive. 
and solar panels would be a great way to help uh, ease up the electrical bills of this very large building. As those quotes started coming in, my mind, um, my mindset started changing about the affordability system. So we've got three different inverters. Each one is a 25 kW uh, capacity inverter. So. And I did a comparison to last year, and it was about a six, seven hundred dollar um, less expense. Yeah, you know, six, seven hundred dollars a month in our energy bills. So those are those are significant numbers. That, that money is able to be put back into our organization that we're able to continue to offer that, that low cost or no cost programming space. In addition, you know, sort of the structure of the program, being part of a cohort connecting with other nonprofits is another outcome uh, beyond the grant dollars that is very useful. We allow the nonprofit community to uh, learn about uh, energy efficiency, learn about solar, learn about ways to finance their project, and share feedback with one another uh, in terms of the projects that um, may be very similar to their building. And, and so that way they can share knowledge on easy, uh, share knowledge on projects they're pursuing, how they're financing them. Nonprofits are leaders in their neighborhoods, in their community, and uh, what we hope through the EASY program is that these different projects that we're highlighting, these different projects that nonprofits are doing, inspires others to do uh, energy efficiency, different types of sustainability work in their home, at their business. We can really show what's possible with these nonprofits, investing in energy efficiency and solar, in moving towards electrification and phasing out fossil fuels such as natural gas. By having these organizations go first, by showing the impacts that these projects have, we can really prove that this is something that is possible here in South Bend. We've found that this model has really worked pretty well, so we're excited to expand it.